Hey Construction Legends, so today we're going to talk about one thing you need to do to be more successful in construction. So this is a bit more of a business chat, it's less about contracts or it's less about the usual stuff that we talk about, how to sign better contracts on the front end and make sure that you get paid for everything and maintain your project margin in the back end. This is more about business in general, construction businesses. So if you like this content, leave a comment below or like, subscribe, do all the good stuff so I know and I can give you more of it. Hi, my name is Keen Brennan. For those of you don't know me. I'm the CEO of a company called Quantum Contract Solutions. The reason we make these videos is so many construction companies out there that lose money and they don't need to they sign better contracts or if they know how to essentially work the system, they're going to make lots more money. And this podcast and these videos show you how to work the system so you can make tons and tons of money. So today it's interesting because our company, we deal with so many construction companies and, you know, some come to us in a bit of pain, some come to us, you know, more about just wanting to feel at ease and getting all their contracts sorted, you know, all come from different places. So we can see companies that are really, really successful and companies that are struggling. And there's some trends that tend to emerge. And I want to talk about those trends and, and the key learnings that I have learned from the trends. And from talking to, you know, all of these amazing CEOs on a weekly basis, we can see what works and what doesn't work. So the main thing is, and the title of this video is do this one thing. And the main thing is the best construction companies that are out there do one thing and that's it. They do one thing better than anybody else. So whether they're supplying, whether they're doing, you know, craneage, if they're a civil company, if they are a scaffolding company, scaffolding is one of the interesting ones because I really want to tie in different services to it, right? Whatever it happens to be, they do one thing. If you're a type of builder, they build one thing, right? And they just do it amazingly well. If you're a roofer, they do one thing. They just install roofs. And they are the most successful companies time and time and time again. Hey, Legend, just quickly, if you got any sort of value from this video so far, the only ask I've got of you is we don't do any advertising. We don't make any money from this channel is that you just hit the subscribe button. So other construction companies, people in construction can find the videos, save themselves money, avoid disputes and be contractually better as construction companies. Let's get back to it. The ones that are less successful are ones that, you know, they grow to a couple of million, maybe 10 million or 5 million in revenue and they kind of get stuck there. And then they start to, instead of dealing with that problem as to why they're stuck there, they go left and right. And they start trying to catch other pieces. Well, we're now a roofing company, but we're also a bit of a property developer. And we're also a company that does that, you know, does this other stuff because, you know, we wanted to catch the money that was just falling off is the excuse or is the, you know, the idea. So, but the actual problem that they have is they've leveled out. They can't get any bigger doing what they're currently doing because they haven't solved that next problem. They haven't learned how to scale their company uh, or they're not patient enough. There's a couple of things. Okay. But honestly, we got plenty of crane companies that work for us. We got steel fabricators and they just do that one thing and they're just awesome. And they just get every year to get better at doing the one thing they get, you know, they able to negotiate better prices with their suppliers. They're able to have more efficiencies and they just become better than everybody else. That is the key thing. So it's just doing one thing that makes a big difference. There's one other key thing that we've seen. And I mean, I'm hopefully not jumping to conclusions on this, but a lot of the biggest companies are family run companies, private companies that have been in business for a long, long period of time. The best company is the company that has done one thing for a long period of time. They are the highest revenue grossing companies without a doubt. If there's a key to success, it's do one thing, keep it in the family and do it for a long time. That seems to be the key to success. The whole family thing is really interesting to me because I believe the succession planning and the risk adverseness is the key to success because they are the first guys to turn projects down. The rhetoric, how they speak, they don't speak in terms of weeks and months and quarters. They talk in years and five years and 10 years. They don't talk about how much money we'll make on you know this project. They talk about you know the risk element, like, no, that's too risky for us. We're not taking that they are the first to do that sort of thing. So with that mindset on, and it's very, you know, it's very shrewd. They're thinking I need to make decisions, not for now. I need to make decisions based on my kids. I need to make decisions decisions based on the, the company lasting over time. And it's those decisions that are the decisions that are better. They're long-term decisions as opposed to the short-term decisions of, I need to win this project. I need to pay my guys. Like They're the problems 
of small companies, let's face it. Problems of bigger companies are, are different and they're thinking, just thinking so much bigger, they're thinking so much longer that the decisions that they make today and the patience that they have, it just multiplies every single year. And whenever I'm chatting to them, they are great to chat to. I don't know what that's to do with anything, but they're just very interested in, in what they do. They understand everything. Like when we're talking contracts with them, they get it. They get everything. They get the whole cash flow thing. They get everything. And they are very pro getting paid paid upfront. Now this is something we've talked about recently with our inner circle of, of clients is that you need to basically get your acquisition cost is how much money is it cost you to win this work. You need to get paid that back as soon as possible. Okay. All of your tendering costs, everything. And so the best way to do that is to get paid up front. Get paid up front. It's easy to to do. You get sorry, it's not easy to do. You obviously need some skill, but you want to essentially say, well, you know, given the market that we have right now, materials and people are really, really hard to come by. So we need to get them quick. And so we need to do that. We need to spend quite a bit of money. So if we can get a prepayment from you guys, it'd make a huge difference. You get the people and we'd be able to secure them, et cetera, et cetera. And then try and negotiate the prepayment. The other way you can do it is literally give them a discount. It is worth getting paid up front and giving them a discount on the, the overall price if they pay you up front. It makes a big difference. If the company that you're dealing with is big enough, they don't really care if you like, depending on what your size of the contract is. And really, as you go through the contract, you're going to get variations. You're going to get change orders and the EOTs. And if you're good at that stuff, you're going to make more money, right? So overall, your contract value, you're going to make way more money and way better cash flow. Those three things seem to be the key to everything. So one is the family business. It seems to be something that is very prevalent between the most successful companies. And, and it's not just a family business, it's that they make long-term decisions. They're willing to say no. The other ones is they do one thing, one thing really well, they continuously improve. Last thing is they get paid upfront where possible. They seem to be the three key metrics that are very important for construction companies. That's everything for this video and I'll catch you in the next. Hey, Construction Legends, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want more of the same, please click here to have another cool video. And we've also got a full contract negotiation training course. It's six weeks, everything you need to do to negotiate your own contract. It's a playlist, click on it, go through all the training, and it'll make you way, way better and, and allow you to sign way less riskier contracts and set yourselves up for success. Okay, so choose one of them and go, for, go forth and conquer.